I bet you're wondering why there's balloons here and who my mystery guest is. Well, let's find out. It's time for the Orchid Show. show my name is Pastor Evelani and popping those balloons was a mistake that was terrifying but like I said I bet you're wondering who the mystery guest is little drum roll and it is it's Fabian what's up L kids Fabian. I'm so excited to be here today oh, you have no yes. idea dude oh my gosh I am excited that you're here because you are going to help us answer our why do we do that question nice. I actually have that question and Ooh. I was gonna make you guess but that what? balloon pop Ooh. experience was actually pretty terrifying. Have the question is it in a balloon. So I was gonna have you guess, but it's actually in this one. So just pop that one. Oh and man, I'll right I was here. gonna guess that one. No. Popping balloons. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> ah! Ah! Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that gets me every time. <sighs> okay. Well, where's the question? I think it's shot off <laughs> the table. Oh, wait, okay, you stay there. Okay, the qu question's gone. I popped it away. Hold on, hold on. Drum okay. roll. What does it say? Okay, okay, back. That was a, what an experience. <laughs> what I, an experience, balloons the, the, are very scary. Blew the question away. Yep. Okay, here is our why. Do we do that question? Wait, Um. since you're the guest today, why don't you read the question for that. everyone to hear? It is, why do we get baptized? <gasps> oh. Great question, and I actually know the answer. You know what, I actually know it too. I think it's when you uh, have bath time at church. Oh, bro, no, bath oh. time? Cancel that. No, definitely not bath time at church. Bath time is for at home, um, but water is involved, for sure. Sweet. And you get in something that looks like a bath, but that's a great question for them to have asked, and we're gonna answer that today. I'm so excited. But you know what, I was thinking about it. Our Bible verse for this series is like so perfect, for oh why do we gosh. get baptized? I'm mm -hmm. so so what's the Bible verse? Where? Oh, so I kinda hit it. Do you think you can find it? I I did. I, I found it before what? we popped the balloons. I hit it! It's, How'd you find it? It's in the coffee mug. It's right here, L Kids. Oh, and it's man. all wet. Dude, you found it before. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda showing. I was hoping that you're gonna have to find it. <laughs> I didn't get super creative. But I did hide it. Yeah. And I good did, job, you I, found it. You're I, very I, smart. Yeah, I just did a okay. mask. I was like, maybe she likes Water in her paper, paper in her I water. Do I don't know. Like so Bible verses in my water. Mm. Oh yeah, totally. Tastes so good. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Our verse is all wet, but that's okay because baptism is about getting um, a little wet. So mm -hmm. since you're the, you know, guest again, I'm gonna let you do the honors of reading this month's Bible verse. Awesome. So Ephesians chapter two, verse ten says, "For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works." which God prepared in advance for us to do. That's right. Wow, that's prepared great. in advance for us to do, that's perfect. But you know what? I think that I wanna show you how cool and how loud they are. Because really? Fabian, okay. they are really great at repeating the verse. So watch, let's get this really cool wet Bible verse out there. Don't, Don't let us down. We want you to repeat the verse really loud and super strong voice. Like get your really strong voice, not your like screaming voice. Screaming voice, not cool. Like a strong, strong voice. Like, oh, no, strong voice. Verse. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, repeat after me. So you just get a good listening ear. Okay, listen okay. Ready? Okay. okay, I'm listening. I'm For listening. we are God's handiwork. Ooh, yes, I like it. Good job, guys. Okay. Created in Christ Jesus. They sound good. You can get louder. Yeah, I they believe sound so. sound good. Okay. To do good works. Louder. Come on. Which God prepared in advance. That's long. That's a lot of words. Yeah. Come on, do it. Good job. For us to do. Perfect. You know, I think they sounded amazing. You guys Did sounded you? so good. They're Absolutely. So good. Yeah, they're super good. Oh yeah, yeah. that's Ephesians 2.10, way to go. But you know what? That verse really is perfect talking about baptism because God prepared great and awesome things for us to do in advance. And he showed us how to do that, like baptism, because okay. spoiler alert, Jesus totally got baptized. And he showed us what we wow. were supposed to do and called to do. And we have a cool video. 
all about it. Did you know that? I mm -hmm. did not know that, but I'm excited to watch this video, so let's go ahead and check it out. Yes, let's watch it right now. God's story, baptism. So part of God's story is about baptism, and it goes like this. Baptism is a picture of God's rescue plan and a way to remember what Jesus did for us. From the very beginning, people have made wrong choices and are separated from God. But God still loves people, even when we make bad choices. And so he sent his only son, Jesus, to take the punishment for every wrong thing that has ever been done anywhere, so that no one would have to stay separated from God. Jesus lived a perfect life, died, was buried, and rose again. He showed that God wants to give everyone new life in him. Once we've heard about Jesus and want to receive his rescue, the next steps to get baptized are to repent and believe. When we repent, we realize we've messed up and we need God to forgive us. Then we start obeying Jesus by doing things God wants us to do, being generous, serving others, and showing love to others. That's what happened to a guy named Paul. Paul was famous for being mean to people who followed Jesus. He was going to a city called Damascus to get people who followed Jesus thrown in jail or put to death. Suddenly, a blinding light knocked Paul to the ground and a voice spoke from heaven. Paul, Paul, why are you persecuting me? After that, Paul repented. He stopped persecuting people and started following Jesus. And after he repented, the first thing Paul did was he got baptized. He's known as the Apostle Paul because everywhere he went, he told people about Jesus. After repenting, the next step is to believe in Jesus. Some people get baptized right away, as soon as they start believing in Jesus. Like in the story of Philip and the man from Ethiopia. Philip was a follower of Jesus, and one day he met a man from Ethiopia who was traveling in a chariot. When Philip told him Jesus was the rescuer, the man stopped his chariot and hopped out. He said to Philip, look, there's some water. What can stand in the way of me getting baptized? So Philip went into the water with him and baptized him right there, by the side of the road, in front of everyone. He probably didn't even have a change of clothes. When someone has heard about the rescue, repented of their wrong choices, and believed in Jesus, they're ready for baptism. To be baptized, the person gets dunked in water. They go under the water because they're laying down their old life, and because Jesus laid his life down for us. But just like Jesus rose again, they come back out of the water, ready for the new life God promises. It's a way to show the world, I follow Jesus. Now, baptism doesn't mean everything will suddenly be perfect. Only Jesus was perfect. Bad things still might happen, and even people who've been baptized will make wrong choices sometimes. But when that happens, they don't have to get baptized again. Instead, they can remember how Jesus rescued them. No matter what, we can always ask God to forgive us, and he always will, because he loves us. And that's a part of what the Bible says about baptism. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Baptism helps us remember God's rescue. Going under the water reminds us Jesus died for us. Coming out of the water reminds us Jesus rose again. Jesus told people to repent and believe. Paul repented and became a follower of Jesus. Anyone who gets baptized can have a new life in Jesus. And that's the story of baptism. Hey guys, it's Tiana. And today we are talking all about baptism. So let's open up your Bibles and see what it has to say. Open up your Bible to 1 Peter 3, 21. It says, and this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a clear conscience towards God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Wow, I love that verse. It explains what baptism is. Getting baptized is not about getting wet and taking a bath, but it's a public display to show how we are made new in Jesus. The water symbolizes Jesus washing away all our sin. And he did that when he sacrificed himself on the cross for us. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Welcome back. It is now game time. Boom, that's right. Yep, game, it's game time. time. We're going to battle it out for a top banana, my little homie, my little friend with a banana. game of can we clean it, organize it, or fix it. Boom. 
Shakalaka. That's like the oh, coolest name yep. of game in so all cool. the entire world. And that's right, we're gonna have three rounds to do those things. And the person with the most points is gonna win this guy because he's just so cute. The top banana. The top banana, which it's probably gonna be me, but it could possibly be Fabian. It could possibly be me. But well. probably, probably me. But we'll find out. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Are you ready to lose? Are you ready? I'm to ready win? to represent the boys. Oh. Make some noise, boys, if you think we're gonna win. Oh, they're so cool. Quiet, that's embarrassing. Know, Come on, girls. Loud. Girls, show these boys. Let's make some noise. Ready? One, two, three. Ba ooh, ooh. Do you hear them? I don't Do know. you hear their high pitched screaming voices? I don't know. Screaming for me, cheering for me. All the children. Yes, thank you. Okay, well, <laughs> let's get started with round number one. Alrighty, we are ready to begin round one of. That's right, of the Organize It. Organize it. So we're gonna have 30 seconds to find our color. We've been assigned a color for our M&Ms. And just so everybody knows, we both have the exact same amount of M&Ms. Yep. Yep. And so there is no advantage, although I'm fast, so maybe I have an advantage that the Lord gave me. I don't know. I but may be fast too because okay. I do really, I, I really want to eat all these M&Ms right now. You can it's, eat them. It's a, it's a weakness. Eat all the ones that you have to find, so you have less M&Ms at the end. Okay, so my color is blue, and your color is yellow. Yellow. Okay, he's got to find all the yellow. So, thirty seconds. Are you ready, bro? I'm ready. Okay, ready. Three, Three two, two, one, go. go. Okay, good. Finding all the blue. Finding all the blue. Oh, I dropped the yellow. I dropped the yellow. Oh, I got a little blue party over here, bro. Blue, blue, blue. I got a little party going on. No, I just threw some blue on the floor. That was I feel like tragic. That was like a lot of yellow. No, my my findings are falling on the floor. There's not a lot of yellow going on here. Oh, oh, hey, hey, man. I don't know. Oh no, come back, little blue. It's okay. We're doing great. We're doing absolutely. Amazing. You are? Boys, if you think we're winning this round, make some oh, noise oh, for me stop. right now. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, yeah, I think you won. <laughs> Half of mine. I was focused. Okay, okay, really quick count. I, I was hungry. Count as quick as you can, and but I'm pretty sure you found more than me because I can see. see your answer. <laughs> I can see that you found more. You a brown one. <laughs> okay, in all fairness, it's not even fairness, in all poor execution of my round, have a mind fell on the <laughs> Stinking floor. Oh my god. I'm not good. Oh, okay, uh, count. All right. right. It's all those obvious. Really quick. We count. Speed this out. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I counted. I counted faster. Did that mean I won? No, that means I probably lost because it takes I don't know. longer to count. What did you get? What was your final no, score? No, go ahead. You go ahead. 50. Four. Oh, Make some noise. Dude, do you know how close I was? How close were you? 51. Ooh, 51. Boys, make some noise for round one. If we count the ones that are on the floor, I could have won, but we, we don't. They're telling All me right. now. Okay, so that's one point for Fabian. Whatever, but I'm proud of you. Good job. Like, that's Knuckles, great. Knuckles, that was a good round. Okay. Now, let's get to round number two. All right, it is round number two. Two. And he's winning. Whatever. I am. Let's move on from that. We are going to be now fixing it. Our towers have crumbled to the ground. We yes. must rebuild. We We're must gonna fix, fix it. We're going to fix it. Mm -hmm. Like, fix it, Felix Jr. from Wreck It Ralph. I'm going to fix it, Felix, all over this right now. So, we're going to see who can actually build the uh, tallest tower okay. in one minute. 60 seconds. One minute. One minute. And cool. however you want to fix it, that's on you because we'll find out who has the tallest one. Are you ready? Have I am table. ready. You're so ready? Okay. Count it down. You count it down. Three, two, one. Do it. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Found. Oh my goodness, this is like scary. Why? I feel like I'm not moving fast. I'm like old man. Dude, hands you know what? Right I have some advice. What's the advice? Take your time. I am absolutely the taking my time. The slower you go, the more like the taller you'll be. I, I it's just, the best. I just feel like. And I don't even want to look over at your tower. Don't look at me because it's I, really. I feel it's, like I'm gonna copy you, and I don't you want to cop copy you. You shouldn't copy me. Exactly. You really shouldn't. You know why you shouldn't? But I should. Because you need to be your own person. I agree. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm but I want to win. I do too. But take your time. That's the. That's my advice. Don't you think he should go as slow as possible? Only you know one one brick at a time. Build it up. Build it up. One brick at a time. That's good advice. This is a brick. These aren't bricks. This is. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, things are things are getting close. Oh no! I didn't do sturdy. I didn't go. Uh, I didn't do a good base. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Time's up. 
You came in at the end, bro. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no, no, you can't do that. I can't do it, you did win. This is embarrassing. Wow. I was like, he's gonna <laughs> lose. I was like, cool, he's not going fast. But he, he came in at the end. You, he you he came... did. Okay, so you know what that means. That he has another point. So that is Woo! two points for Fabian. Let's go. Zero, zero points for me. That's okay. That's okay. You but know, it's okay. I have the love of Jesus. I, you know, and I have round three. So let's go ahead and bring out the next round. What's up, L kids? This is the final and last round of Clean It, Fix It, and Organize, organize it. it. And, and we... this is... Clean it. That's right, we're gonna clean it. We're gonna clean house, we're gonna clean it up. And this round though is a really special round because it's worth one million points. One million points! So really whoever wins this game just wins the whole thing, I think. Gives I, me a chance. It, it's the it only way I could chance. win is if I win this round. That's what we decided. Okay, <laughs> he's really kind. He's really helping me. Okay, so we have 30 seconds. Uh, the goal is to get all the trash on his side and he's gonna try to get it on my side and whoever has the most trash on their side is probably the loser. We're gonna see how this works. We're gonna find it out. But we're gonna try to keep our side clean. Are you ready? I'm ready, but High wait, let's, let's, let's take Mr. Banana out of the way. Protect him on the I side. I don't want him to be yes. hurt. Okay, all right. Keep him on my side. Ready? I don't know my, my, my style. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. I just, I like, ah. You're knocking some on the floor. Hey, hey, you have a whole oh, no. lot of trash to Ugh. deal with Ugh. over there. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no, I knocked that. Okay. Oh no, what's my strategy? Oh, no, no. Hold, Hold it all till the last second. second. No, I think you want all this trash. I think you want all <laughs> I think this want trash. All the trash. Oh no 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 We no, don't no, like no. trash. We're not like Oscar the Grouch. We we like to give it away. Give it away, give it away. Wait, 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 wait! Arms up! <laughs> I'm on the table! <laughs> Arms up! <laughs> I think it's pretty clear. No, hold up. You, you, I didn't you saw mean that to. on camera. That was me not falling on the floor, everybody. Okay, I'm not trying to push <laughs> trash. Okay, I'm an old lady. Can help me out here. Okay, so stopped. Bro, that, that was not easy. That was, that was giving me anxiety, <laughs> and I was intense. trying not to fall off the table. Oh okay, my gosh. So let's count our trash really quickly, and we're gonna time lapse it. So we're gonna count as fast as possible. Here we go. Go. What's that one? Two, forty, three. Hold on, we have one fifty-two. Five, six, fifty-seven. Okay, so I have fifty-seven pieces of trash, and three of them I just throw on the floor because I lost. And boys game. win! Guys. Let's make some noise, boys! Woo! Okay. Woo! I'm proud we should, of you. We Man, that. I wouldn't think that the boys would win in the clean it, organize it, and fix it game. Kind of shocking. But it is but shocking. Hey. But you know what? That means you hand it over. I will award you. All right, sir. With all this mess here, indeed, you are the winner of the top banana one. Fair and square so with a million excited. and three, a million and two points, really. Million I mean, and two. Yeah. Million and two million points. And two I points. mean, that's incredible. Like, that is record breaking points for the boys. I'm gonna That is, it. I'm so excited. We broke a record. Yes, so congratulations. You are the winner of the top banana. And the, the yeah, banana. that's that's it for game time. We're gonna start cleaning up. So we'll see you guys in just a minute. Woo. All right, let's keep it cute. There you go. Boys and girls, it is now time for a quiz. Today we are focusing on why we get baptized. Are you ready to put your brain to work with some true or false questions? Let's find out. Here we go. When we go under the water during baptism, it represents us laying down our old life like Jesus laid down his. And just like Jesus rose again, we come up out of the water made new through him. Is this true or false? You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Do you have your guest locked in? The answer is true. Next question. You must be an adult to get baptized. True or false? You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. 
adds up? The answer is false. There is no age requirement to get baptized as long as you truly understand your decision and have accepted Jesus and believe in him and his sacrifice. Looks like you know a lot about baptism. Getting baptized is a very special thing we do publicly, showing that we are made new through Jesus and the sacrifice he made on the cross when he died for our sin. Well, well, kids, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me at Quiz Time. You know, Pastor Lonnie, today was a very fun and uh, hmm. weird day. Well, it was a pretty fun day. I mean, I didn't win the game, but we did some right. cleaning, we did some fixing, and we did some organizing. You did it better, but... That's right. That's neither here nor there. But, but. You, you know what? <laughs> Despite all the games and all the lessons, like, you know, it really made me think about how Jesus cleans us. Oh, yes. Fixes us and rescues us. That's right. Our game games. has that little bit of connection mm -hmm. in there. And you know what? Only Jesus can clean us of our sin mm. through his sacrifice on the cross. And Jesus can help us organize out our life exactly. because, you know, life does get messy and he fixes us because without Jesus, we really are broken and he's the only way to be made whole, right? Exactly. Because I know when I fail and I know whenever I fall, I know at the end of the day, I can say Jesus can fix me. That's he right. can clean me up again, organize me to do what I need to do and I'll just be rescued. That's right, because all of those things that we mentioned that Jesus did for us on the cross is part of his rescue plan. That's right. Jesus does not want us to stay in our sin. He wants us to be freed of it, and that's why he died on the cross. And when we accept Jesus, Baptism is a huge part of our relationship with Jesus because it's our big proclamation, our big public statement showing that we follow Jesus and that we are made new through him. It's pretty special, right? That's so right. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Have you have you been baptized? I have been baptized. I was 14 when I got baptized, Ooh, actually. So 14. you're so L kids, you are never too young to oh, get baptized. This is very true. Did you know that in the Bible, there is nowhere that it says that you have to be this tall to ride to get baptized. Right. When you're ready to make that decision and, and to do that, it's perfect time to do it. And you know what? I was actually in third grade when I got baptized. Yeah. So I that's wasn't, so cool. you know, super, I wasn't 14. I right. was like nine. I think that's how old you are when you're I in third so. grade. I think. <laughs> but whenever you're ready to make that decision and you understand what you're doing, that's the best time to get baptized baptized, right? Right. I agree. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The first step before you can get baptized, we have to make sure that we have Jesus as Lord and King of our heart. That's the first step of God's rescue plan is that we would accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So you know what we can do right now? What can we do? We can pray with them. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Would you like to do that? Let's do it. To accept Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Help you guys make that first step part of that rescue plan, accepting Jesus. So why don't we, so this is what we're gonna do. They're okay. gonna close their eyes. Why don't you tell them, close their eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and close your eyes right now in this moment. Let's Ooh. take this time to be really serious and let's yes. look inside our hearts and, and let's accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. If you're ready to make that commitment right now, on the count of three, we're gonna count down and just go ahead and raise your hand. Ready? Yes. One, two, Three. Go ahead and lift up your hand. Oh my gosh, Ms. Evelina, there's so many hands that are being raised right now. This And this is that That's first step. so amazing. Awesome. And we raise wow. our hand just to show that we choose Jesus. It's just I us saying, so much. I choose you, God. And we're going to say this prayer right now. So I want you to repeat after me. Can you guys do that? Okay, here we go. Like I said, keep your eyes closed. No peeking. I see you. Here we go. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for sending your perfect son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me. I believe in my heart and say with my mouth, you are my Lord. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin and to make me new. We thank you for sending Jesus to rescue us. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.
men and a Amen. men. Amen. Woo! Whoa. Congratulations, El Kids. Yeah. That is so awesome. I'm so hyped. Right? That is so exciting mm -hmm. that you accepted Jesus. Wow. So you did the first step. The next step is getting baptized. getting baptized. So guys, if you are out there and you want to get baptized, talk to a leader, talk to your parents and see if it's time for you to do that because That's right. it'll be so exciting when it is time. Man, it's going to be a little celebration. It's going to be it's so a party. awesome. Well guys, that's it for us today on our Why Do We Do That series. Right. That's it. We're actually done with the Why Do We really? Do That series. That's wow. it. You helped us answer the last Good question. Job. So high five. Other high five. Boom. Another high five. And let's high five them and all the high fives. So all kids, million high fives. We're going to see you guys later on the next series. So have Woo. an awesome day and Jesus loves you. And Bye. We love you. Bye. Bye.